Today we've got Lloyd from the Berries in Portugal come over for a visit to get his brakes done. So it's Johnny's second job in the workshop. Yes, you heard that right. It's Johnny's second job because his first job a couple of weeks ago was on a Mercedes AMG GTR. Flashback. It's your first job inside your workshop? I guess it is, yeah. Okay, so it's probably not quite the car you were expecting, but this is an official badge Mercedes remote control car. We bought this as a gift for Farmer for Fun's daughter, Chloe, and we really hope she enjoys her first driving experience. What's it like working on a car of this size? <laughs> Awkward, my fingers are too big. I think it can do a maximum of 3.5 miles an hour, so it's super fast. Just not the real thing. I think she's going to get a lot of fun out of this. It's so funny watching you work on this with those tools. You actually look like a giant working on a real size car. Oh, we need to give this more rock. Brief construction montage. is complete. We're quite impressed with this little machine. Silliness aside, we think Chloe's little car looks quite cool. Anyway, back to the real mechanics work, changing the rear brakes on Lloyd's car. Is it going to be a joint effort today? Um, it's going to be more of, I'm going to pretend I know one bit, and Lloyd's going to do it. While they get on with that, I get to work taping the bottom of the walls in preparation to paint the floor.
So that's the car brakes done and half of the barn taped up ready for the floor paint. But before we get on with applying the paint, let's take a quick trip to the Guadario's restaurant for Johnny's mum's birthday. I think the owners were quite happy about seeing their restaurant featured in one of our latest videos. So they gave us a table on the veranda with a lovely view, cooked us an amazing piece of meat and gifted us a bottle of wine. One of our favourite grapes too, Alvarino. Happy birthday, Cathy. Thank you. Are you having a nice time? Absolutely stunning. It's wonderful. Right, Johnny. What's the verdict? Very good. Yeah? Some T-bone for the win. And we've got this fantastic view. And the dessert was also fantastic. Johnny had chocolate mousse, Kathy had a biscuit cake, and I had panna cotta with fresh fruit sauce. Delicious. We highly recommend eating here, especially as the beautiful waterfall river beach is right next to the restaurant. And this time, seeing as it's sunny, we decided to go for a swim. It looks nice. It's safe to say we will definitely be back to the Guadarrio's paradise. After that nice break from the farm work, let's get back to the barn and paint the floor. So it's now time to start painting the floor. How are you feeling about that? It's gonna be good fun, but it's a bit nasty. Yeah, we have swept this place the best that we can and hopefully this paint is going to cover it. And it's... Ooh, that doesn't look great. It's an interesting colour. It's a bit blue coloured. Blue, yeah. It's the... And this paint we got from Maya and Marquez, or Maya E. Marquez. And it's 200 euros for one bucket of paint. So we are hoping it's gonna last at least for half of the floor, but we'll see how we get on. So I'm gonna start by painting the edges. And then we've got Lloyd here. He's going to give us a hand painting the floor. So Johnny gives the paint a good mix up before we get started. It is a bluey grey, isn't it? Okay. I actually really like that. It's better than the floor we got, isn't it? Let's get it on this floor. When I began painting, I noticed that the paint was quite watery, so maybe we'll have to do two coats, which is quite surprising compared to the dirt paint that we put on the walls. I was expecting it to be thicker considering it's 200 euros for a bucket of paint. Okay, so Lloyd just pointed out that the paint seems to be getting a lot lighter as we get near the bottom. We just gave it another stir and it's gone light gray rather than dark gray. Oh my word. Wow, that's a completely different that's color. That's a different color. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh dear. It seems to be quite thick as well, like thicker. Maybe you just didn't give it a very good mix. Maybe, yeah, yeah, good try. Not quite the result that we want today. Yeah. 
Yeah. It smells as well. I've never smelled paint like that. No. It smells like it's gone off. It smells like hair dye. Or, mm. yeah, yeah, ammonia. That's like tar on the top. It's not right, is it? Doesn't spread between my fingers, let alone on the right. Even though this paint didn't turn out very well, we assumed it's either due to not mixing it properly, or this particular bucket of paint is damaged, so we decided to get some more of it. Tune into our next farm video to find out what happens. After that unsuccessful painting session, Lloyd had a quick go on our pit bike. How was that? Well, I'm knackered, but also my heart is absolutely banging. <laughs> I think he enjoyed that. While we wait for the paint to arrive, we get on with some more farm work. So I'm going to cut down some of these mimosa trees because we want to use this little bit of terrace and plant a couple of fruit trees, maybe some plums. But at the moment, these, these are just dominating this whole area. So I'm going to get the chainsaw and cut a few of them out and see how it goes. Have you done this before? No. I used it once down there. And I've cut a branch off up there, so I'm basically a pro. these trees down? Uh, no, just the ones that are overhanging. I actually quite like it being a bit shady here, it's quite cool. You've got an amazing view. So we definitely need a bench. Maybe have a couple of trees and a bench in the middle. Sounds nice. A couple of different plum trees or something. And then you can sit, chill and look at that in the shade. Moments later. I just found these. Oh wow, they look really special. Maybe someone in the comments can tell us what they are. It's some kind of quartz maybe. Yeah, that one in particular, turn it over. Yeah. It's like rose quartz or something. It might be nothing, but... It might just be a rock, but it's a pretty rock. More moments later. This could be useful though, prop up a tree. Hmm. Got a tree over there that needs propping up. Go and see if we can do anything with it.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Also, why not click on one of the video windows to see more? Thanks for watching. Seen a pit bike with a bell. <laughs>